Oh, <laughs> I did not. Yeah, I okay. accidentally clicked the, the screen. It's fine. This can just sit there on the thing. I mean, that's how it is. If you scoot your back, it can sit like that. I'm trying to get our Instagram. If I, if I sit back far enough, I can, I'm visible. Okay. okay. Did you hit it? Yeah, it's sideways though. Oh, is it? It is going to be sideways. Do you want to do it up and down somehow? I don't think we can figure it out. I don't either. I forgot that our our, our laptop is touch screen and I accidentally touched it with the thing. Okay. Did this mic It was over here. I was looking for something to prop the thing up. Well, well hello. We'll see if anybody shows up. Oh, are we on the? You're live on mode two. Our second channel, not our first channel. What? See, this is Mo too. Say something. Hello. We're not on our actual main channel. It's the link I shared, though. Okay. As long as it's the link, that's cool. Just saying, if people. Technical difficulties, but that's okay. It's been a long time since we've done this. I don't know. Who knows if anybody's going to show people. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I'm going to sit back here. Okay. And we're going to start by showing off our pizzas. Yeah. From Eagle One Pizza. Um, I picked this up from the restaurant, and apparently they now have pies for sale, like dessert pies. Dessert pies? Nice. There's not enough dessert pies around town, especially that are open past, like, whatever time. So, good to know. And I guess pasta or something. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. Eagle one time. Yeah, pieces. we've had it once. It's it's pretty solid. Yeah. It's pretty basic stuff, but yeah, so, I'm gonna dig in. It's, on uh, time of bite too. We've been busy prepping for all this stuff mm. all day. It's been hectic. Amongst mm. other things, I got this Gazette article I'm working on. Emily got me my favorite. Thin crust. Green true. bell pepper. True, true. Huh? I said true. It's true. Mm. Well, happy cassette week. Mm -hmm. We are um, busy all week doing tons of really cool things. And we haven't had an online pizza party in two years almost. Close to it. Very close to it. Mm -hmm. We did these for Patreon supporters. So we have our Patreon pizza party. We love alliteration. And we would listen to new music mm -hmm. um, and just kind of like talk about stuff. Um, our background music, which hopefully is not too loud right okay. now, is My Name is Stave. So we're listening to. Uh, uh, just music on cassettes that we're featuring at Factory Obscura. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'm bought. Hey, yeah. Pepper Thomas. Nice. Because pizza is greasy. Yes, it is. And delicious. Mm -hmm. Is that their photo? <laughs> it's mm. nice. So now we just switched over from My Name is Stave to Hey Judy off What Now. Um, this track is called El Sol. I'm assuming to mean the yeah. sun. So. This one's a pretty lovey-dovey one, if I recall. This is the one I put together, right? I I'll put it on the massive one. Oh, okay. I'm going to switch it over once we finish talking about it. Oh, yeah, I see this one. There's, there's one that's called uh, Just Say It. That's on my playlist for it. That's the lovey-dovey one for the, for the love emotion. In fact, Obscura. Oh, 
Um, so naturally, we're going to be posting this live session after the fact for folks who might want to see what's going on. Um, what do people need to know about Cassette Week? It's our third year doing it. It's also the third year that Cassette Week has ever been done, which is cool. Um, Cassette Week is an outgrowth of Cassette Store Day. It's a longer thing, now it's Cassette Week. So we've been with it from the beginning, and it's more or less the catalyst for how we've even gotten involved with cassettes, which is really rad, because now we have merch at three different stores, and two of them we sell cassette tapes at, one of which is Factory Obscura, which we're listening to some of those Factory Obscura picks right now, which Factory Obscura, the mixtape experience is split up into six different fields, different emotional spaces, and so we picked six different local tapes to reflect those, which is pretty cool. Go to Factory Obscura, check it out. Um, it's a great time to do that with you this week. We have one of our numerous events we're doing this year, which is our biggest cassette week so far. Because uh, we more or less had something every single day. The first year we did it, it was just a day. And the second year we did it, it was like three days. But now it's like six days. Plus yesterday we had some announcements over those now. Oh yeah. Um so we had uh purchased 30 cassettes, which is our biggest acquisition so far, um, at one single time, because we have bought close to that from previous that's the most acquisition of a single tape. Yeah. I think Chris Foster's, we did Papa Foster, and we may have gotten 30. But um, we got one of the hottest new albums mm -hmm. from one of the uh, just completely blowing it out of the water, most amazing bands in Oklahoma. We got Chat Pile, God's Country. So we have 29 of the 30 cassettes we bought yeah. available for sale because we're keeping one for Gotta ourselves. Keep I'm not sure which run this is. I don't think this is first run chat file, but it's it's on like a light blue it's tape. Pretty tape. Yeah. So we did that unboxing yesterday, um, but we also had a little joke because uh, we bought eight tracks. Two of them mm -hmm. from uh, Broken, Vacuum. Broken Vacuum, and I'm like really digging on the the current vibe that a lot of new bands are are like going after appliance names. There's Stolen Cable and Broken Vacuum, <laughs> right? Um, but we we got two eight tracks, and so we will have one of those eight tracks available for purchase. It, when we were at Punk Rock Flea Market at the start of uh, September up in Tulsa, we had someone ask us if we knew anything about where to get eight tracks. And then serendipitously, someone, uh, you know, we noticed that Broken Vacuum was putting them out, and Evan asked. Heck yeah, man. And we ordered. So it's a good album, too. Yeah, I am obsessed with this new album so what's the name of it i i can't remember it's a little complicated it's like a it's like welcome i know welcome to the gates of hell is the song that's that a I'm track like. it's like the hundred thousand storms or something crazy like that I'm looking at that. No. anyway eight track tape a wow. night of one hundred thousand storms yes. yeah um so we'll have that for sale alongside all our other stuff are we getting Discordia tapes? We are supposed to pick up a handful of Discordia tapes. Um, hopefully this week we might not have them at every event. Um, you know, it's it's sometimes it's really hard to schedule out because Evan and I are so busy. So we're we're trying desperately to get some Discordia because Triptych is an amazing album. It's really good. Um, hella and, underrated. Yeah, hella, hella underrated. Hella underrated. Um, so today we're doing the pizza party and we scheduled it for six to seven because um, we've got some more stuff that we want to do like later this evening. Well, yeah, I'm going to personally, I'm going to be a pony boy here pretty soon. 
unrelated to cassette week, but Mondo Monday. Shout out to Mondo Monday. Yeah, Mondo Mondays. Um, literally like starting right now with uh, after school anime, which starts at 6 p.m. every Monday. Mm -hmm. It's beside the point. Um, yeah, it's a one hour little session just to kind of kick things off at a e ease into the ease into the week. Yesterday we had some announcement posts. Today we're doing kind of an informal chat about cassette week and what else going on here with us and everywhere else. And then uh, from here on out, it's pop ups all week. Starting tomorrow, we're going to be at Forma, which we love. Forma, shout out to Forma. Uh, it's our second year doing something with Forma. They've been really gracious to share their space with us. Well, last year we had a pop up with Brandon Bergman that went really well. Mm -hmm. So this year we're bringing in Ex Machina, and we're going to be there from six to nine. Sorry. I think that's what I saw in the event. I think so. <laughs> Most yeah. of our events are are more or less set at the same time. But yeah. there are a couple that are generally open. early evenings, like seven to nine, six to eight, six to nine. It is. It is but a week. We don't want to keep y'all out late. It's a free all ages come and go thing, so there's no need to be like, okay, this is a midnight event or anything. Um, what to look out for tomorrow at Forma, which is in Automobile Alley, if you're mm -hmm. wondering, mm -hmm. um, is that we will be popping up. We have 23 or 24 cassettes in stock. Something like that now. Um, including Chat Pile. We're only going to be um, having a limited amount of Chat Piles at Forma because we're saving them for our Wednesday. Yeah, we're trying to parse them out so they don't just sell all out in one day because it's possible that might happen. But um, we have cassettes at Dig It that are not part of our pop-up stock. So, you know, if you want to pop over to Dig It, you can any day of the week this week to go get some. And same with Factory Obscura. But X Max Maxima Machina has um, three albums on cassette, and that's mm -hmm. why we are partnering with him and featuring him as our music, because he's going to provide some lo-fi, chill, electronica flavor, and it's going to be a whole vibe. Yeah. Because it looks amazing. In form. They have large pieces on the walls, but they also have small various local arts and artists um uh there's a big old matt goat painting in there right now last time i checked there's some other folks that have some stuff there Does julia still have something there last time we were there which was the sundeep album release yeah sundeep had an album release there julius um did have a really awesome piece up there julius the robot we're talking about shout so, out to julius yeah some local stuff i know i've purchased some postcards there before so just a, just a cool spot kind of kind of close to downtown but not so so close to downtown that it's crazy it's really chill but also still super urban and downtown so we're gonna have some electronic new t-shirts mm -hmm. this is it's not a new design but it's a new take on the same design so we've almost always had colorful shirts we have red um gray and like a light blue for original design from egg um we have a white t-shirt with like neon pink and beautiful colors from formerly known as turbo now known as none of a kind none of a kind on instagram yeah um and this oh no pizza down, pizza down. party foul evan yeah. <laughs> I hope, I don't know, maybe Captain can have it. Captain yeah. can have it. But um, we have so, good for Fresh Off the Presses from Oscar Norman. Oscillator Press, shout out. Yeah, I love I love working with them. Their, their screen printing is like high quality stuff. It is worth going down and on to get all of your screen printing rights from them. Um, but it is a black t-shirt, the first ever black t-shirt. And... It's white with the cassette design, but it glows in the dark, and it looks really, really cool. I am not a good enough photographer to figure out how to do a long exposure, 
to get the glow in the dark in a picture. <laughs> I messed with it in my in our dark bathroom for a while, and it was just not not working. I, I would have to Photoshop it to get it. But you got the witness it working. Yeah, and it, it and the yeah. shirts are really soft, and you can see we promo that on Saturday. I don't know. Time is a little bit. It kind of got loose with all the other <laughs> promos, so we haven't done like a full. But um, we have um, sizes small to 3XL. We try to always have yep. a wide range of sizes. All the same price. They're 20 bucks. Yeah. We don't up upcharge you for getting a bigger size like right. some people would. Um, so you'll be able to find our uh, brand new, you know, shirts at all of our pop-ups. After we're done with cassette week, we're going to move them into some stores. Yeah, we're still figuring out exactly what's going where, but we've got different places to choose from now. So, so Tuesday, if you want a shirt, come see us at Forma mm -hmm. X Machina. Yeah. And then Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be at the Sanctuary. And that's 6 to 8 p.m. 6 to 8 p.m. Um, no live music there, but we will be spinning tunes, much like we're doing now, playing various music from tapes that we have for sale. Um, portion of all proceeds are going to go towards the sanctuary because they're rad and um, any help they can get keeps them doing what they're doing which is obviously like just a big hit with what they're doing like i mean it's it's the place for a lot of these shows that never had a place to be before so um you know we're going to do a little bit of support for sanctuary uh we're gonna play some music we're gonna sell our stuff and we're gonna have quite a few chat pile tapes yeah um there we're gonna have 15 at the sanctuary because chat pile loves yeah. the sanctuary electra's got all the numbers figured out <laughs> yeah but so. yeah chat pile uh does love the sanctuary i think it's just the coolest thing that they could easily play any number of, of venues in town even with as heavy as they are i mean they could play freaking beer city probably if yeah. they wanted to and they choose to play at this tiny little diy spot because so, they are highly ethical <laughs> in terms of like i mean they just they care they they really you know mm. you give a crap about what people are doing in the scene because they know yeah they so know the struggle, man. if you don't know the sanctuary yeah. is an all ages um community and arts center um and they're doing i don't know they've been doing about four or five shows every month but they are stepping up to doing more and more shows they love hardcore so if you want to slam dance you know uh i have had the pleasure of getting to run sound there a handful of times um, also, shout out to 89th Street while we're talking about hardcore because they donated a snake to make Oklahoma weirder. Ooh. And I went and routed that snake into the sanctuary. So we are reusing and sure. keeping, you know, keeping the earth a little cleaner by recycling some right. sound equipment. True. Um, but the sanctuary is really cool and it's just wonderful to see such like a safe space for kids to enjoy music mm -hmm. and they it it fills my heart with joy to see these kids just live in life and it's really cool to see a new venue come out they've been around since february yeah february yeah this year so it's so nice important spot. so important this year so every chat pile that's one of the reasons we're releasing so many on wednesday at the sanctuary is because we are going to be um helping sustain the sanctuary by donating a portion of our sales yep. to the sanctuary and as of last week we moved in our t-shirts we don't have right. a lot True. we have um at least one small through x three xl on the rack up there um, in a variety of different colors of our original egg design and we have like a couple of our hot pink turbo now known as none of a kind, none of a kind. <laughs> everyone just calls it the white shirt yeah so it's the white or pink shirt um, we've got trucker hats and 
pencils and all kinds of stuff. So you'll find cool stuff at all our pop-ups. We might be having pens soon. Ooh, like button pens or uh -huh. like writing pens? Button pens. Can we get a, a button pen that also is a writing pen? <laughs> I mean, we could. If it would satisfy so, your whims of weirdness. Um, <laughs> I would love to have a pen I can stick onto my... Taylor from King Pink is... Doing a new button thing. We so, love King King. So, uh, I'm going to be sending some art over there. See if we can bulk order some pens. So, yeah, if you're looking for pens, um, hit up King Pink. I'm trying something out, which is really great. So, um, Sanctuary shares a space with Beloved Bones. Beloved Bones is where we're selling some of our merch now. Uh, again, portions uh, to help the venue and everything. But with October being here and Halloween on the way, it's just a great place to go shop anyway. Mm -hmm. Love um, Bones is very gothic, very antiquated, very... It's like so much cool, weird natural history and taxidermy and just oddities and cool stuff. And there's like all kinds of stuff going on there with like there's taxidermy workshops and stuff like that. Um, if you want to make your own jackalope, I feel like that's one of the ones they've done a couple times as far as workshops. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, who needs to go to Spirit Halloween when you can go get legit stuff from Beloved Bones right. and support a great, mm -hmm. awesome venue? And it's like, a lot of it's very ethically sourced. It's not like mm -hmm. a bunch of plastic crap that, you know, gets thrown away every day. But anyway... Uh, Wednesday, we'll be there. Mm -hmm. Thursday, Factory Obscura. We've already mentioned mm -hmm. them. We've got um, tapes there for sale now. Before, um, I think every year that we've done cassette week, we've done a pop up with Group Obscura. It's usually been like a Sunday thing, um, but this year they actually had a whole idea already ready for us. So they're going to be screening a documentary called cassette a documentary mixtape which released in 2016 kind of before all this really blew up featuring a lot of interviews from a lot of folks you got henry rollins all over that so that's going to be screened outdoors they're also doing a cassette swap which is going to be just kind of an informal thing as far as i know um, but we will have cassettes there yeah for sale but i'm if you've got something cool rare and local i'd be down to swap right. something with you but we'll be popping up there with our table and our merch and our glow-in-the-dark shirts and all that. Um, it's an all-ages event. It starts at 7? I believe it's I think it's 7 to 9. I think it's 7 to 9. I think it's 7 to 9. But we've got Facebook events for all of these. Yes. So just go to our page. I go home the weirder. That's facebook.com slash weirder. Okay. And go to our events page. We've got one for every single one of them. With info on everything. Or we've got our, uh, our master list. Yes, but, seven to nine. And our video. But yeah, um, that's going to be really cool. All ages, outdoor screenings. I have, I believe, VHS and Chill, Sean is wanting to come out for that. He messaged me uh, today, actually. So there's definitely some interest in this event here. So that's going to be cool. Um, no live music on that one because there's a film. But the next day is Friday. We will have live music for that, which I personally booked. Because yes. I do a thing called Mental Mondays that I've been doing since February at a place called Bubbly Bubbly Luca Lounge in the Asian District. It's the fourth Monday of the month, and we get together, and we do a lineup of four different weirdos who fall under the umbrella of experimental music. So... I picked three that I thought represented kind of the general vibe of what we kind of provide out there. So we'll have, and they're regulars too. So Matt Major Kurth is coming down from Tulsa. We love Matt Major We love Kurth. Matt Major Kurth. He oh, is a so bass good. player and cellist and just awesome music dude who's in countless projects, but he also does solo stuff. Has a nice album called Amends that you can check out online. Uh, it uh, actually, I think we sent. Did we send one of those? I think we sent a 
a copy of that on CD to one of our patrons recently. I think so. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, but Matt Major Kirk is coming down to play um, alongside Benjamin Rossfeld, uh, who's a long time Mental Monday's collaborator, who is going to do some modular synthesizer improvisations. And then we'll have really Brett cool Fieldcamp. Brett Fieldcamp, who plays as meteorology, is also coming down to do some guitar work with effects. And he's going to do a fully arranged piece that's also like a political statement. So. Mm. Well, and. I, I don't know entirely what to expect, but Brett has one of the coolest setups for you gear nerds out there. <laughs> I stand cammed like almost his whole setup in brief and sent it to my band because I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's a different setup every time he does something yeah. because it depends on what he's doing. But if I'm not mistaken, he has a thing where he's like touching a connection to another connection and that's part of the music and it's just like the electricity of it it's really really cool to see yeah. some phenomenal talent just push your regular expectations for what music is yeah especially in like a live setting like you go mm -hmm. for a light like late night live music and you just there's there's a few things that generally expect it to be and this just kind of challenges that and i think in a way that i think has really been pretty cool we've, we've brought some people out of the woodwork really connected some folks who you know feel a little bit less isolated out here in oklahoma mm. so um all that to say mental mondays is a monday thing but we're actually doing it on a friday it's a special deal we're still doing mental mondays this this month and i can talk about that but um we were invited by um Matt Stock, who uh, books things over at the OU Fine Arts Library. So we're actually going to be on campus, the north side of OU campus, not too far away from everything else. There's the second Friday Art Walk, which is such a cool thing to check out if, if you're ever down there in Norman on a second Friday. you got artists in the streets. Every business feels like they're doing something different. You have gallery premieres. You have music performances. And so that usually starts around six o'clock. We're actually going to get rolling at five thirty to kind of capitalize on folks who are leaving the university, mm -hmm. and we're going to be there from five thirty to seven. So it's going to be a super early one. Mm -hmm. But we're we're doing a Mental Mondays invasion of the Fine Arts Library uh, alongside the set pop up. Yeah. So it's kind of a giant collaboration crossover event between. Um, what they do there because they have a showcase every month there. And it might be our fanciest show we've ever done. It's pretty fancy. I mean, <laughs> like, it's in the middle of a library. There's no stage. We're going to be bringing sound and all that. It's going to be very casual, but it's going to be definitely, yeah, if, if we had a fancy thing, this is this is probably the fancier thing uh, just, just by virtue of being on a university campus. And, but, um, yeah, so that that's a lot of stuff. All yeah. of our events are free. Totally and all free, ages. all ages. If if you want to bring your kid and show him looping cellist to get some weird avant-garde sounds out of his instrument, like it's a great opportunity to expose you know new minds to new sounds. Mm -hmm. so. And um, our our little intern, my kid, will be helping at some of these events. Um, Inevitably, he's he's not going to be at Porma, but he's going to be at the sanctuary and all the other ones. So, well, not Friday or Saturday. So, I guess it's sanctuary and back to Obscura, our littlest interns. Sounds right. But um, we have our grand finale. Yes, on very excited Saturday, about this. and it is just so wonderful that. We've got some solid great homies, and Dr. Pants has, it's it's his album release party. It's probably reversed, but oh, yeah. Evan I'm is, wearing a Dr. Pants Evan shirt. Evan is right wearing now. the Dr. Pants shirt. I'm just wearing one that says Oklahoma. But um, that one is our earliest one, so we're not going to be... Um, you know, it's going to be 12 p.m. high noon. 
when it starts, and we're going to finish about 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, Music is going to start at 1, but we'll be there at, two, at 12. Yeah. So. And it's going to be, if we have four artists on the lineup, so it's going to be the top of every, every hour, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. And all of our house music throughout the night is going to be, or day, <laughs> is going to be our cassette playlist for this year. Um, so we've got Hunter Blake, who just had a like spectacular music video that Circle Lotus Media helped to make happen. Um, that was two days ago. Like I said, time is a construct, but Hunter Blake just dropped a new um, single with a music video. It mm -hmm. looks great. Um, we have Santiago Ramones of Bit Depth and um, is a great musician in his own right. And I think he might possibly be playing with Dr. Pants too. I, I'm not sure. Dr. Pants is, is a... a a mystery wrapped, wrapped in an enigma. We never know what we're going to get. That's true. And then we have one of one of our favorite uh, performers, Jared the Kites from the Lunar Laugh, is going to be playing. Um, and so we're having a, a Dr. Pants celebration. Uh, if you want to bring us some donuts, <laughs> that would be wonderful. Because I don't know that he's gonna be doing the donut thing, but yeah, but you, might, it, you might as well bring donuts. If you bring donuts, anyway. that's better than requesting the donut song. True, true like true. he has he has to do the donut song if donuts are brought. <laughs> it's it's part of our contract that I just made up. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah, all week, lots of cool things, and because we've been doing a lot of unboxing videos, we have one more. Yeah unboxing video we're at the halfway mark so ugh, we have ugh, another fragile box if you're going to enhance our uh address off of that tiny flip like send us me, something cool. Yeah, let me know <laughs> let me know how you did that because I have to edit photos all the time and that is not possible. <laughs> I am doing the bad thing and I'm cutting towards myself because it's a very heavy box and they yeah. use this super <laughs> hardcore tape. So if you've been to any of our pop ups here over the past year, you might have noticed that we've been taking emails as in entries into drawings of various prizes so we're continuing to do that and this is kind of our grand prize prize giveaway we have not opened this up yet so again part of an unboxing but fun paper for the cats to play in if, if you would like this all you have to do is come to one of our events that we just listed. There's five opportunities in the Oklahoma City Metro to come see us, which I think is pretty generous. And all you got to do is fill out the little paper, uh, check a box saying whether or not you want to hear from us, and then because uh, you don't have to sign up for a mailing list you yeah. can totally opt out and that's cool with us we're just happy you came to see us so uh, we just need your contact info so we can reach you but um <laughs> so much tape i want to put it back into the bubble wrap so it stays right. in good condition <sighs> if if you we're at our last cassette week, then you might have some idea what this is because we gave away not the same thing, but a similar item, which ultimately was written by a member of Bedtime, if I recall. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. who. <laughs> yeah, you know, Shout and, out to and I would like to say I, I have not been keeping statistics, but just off the top of my head. If you're a musician and you sign up, you're probably going to win. We have had so many people win um, 
that are in other bands when yeah. stuff we just had the, um yeah the probability seems to indicate that we you, have a lot of musicians you, yeah you you are more likely to win if you are a musician than if you are just a a uh it's, it's a blind drawing though so okay <sighs> We have yeah. my favorite home school Technics dual cassette player, and it is in working condition. It is yeah. very shiny. It looks like it could have almost come out of the box just now for the first time. Right. A it's definitely little... pre-owned. We definitely yeah. got this as a pre-owned item. Um, according to the sales post that says been tested and is in working condition, but we will double check and verify that to make sure. But uh, yeah, we have a dual cassette deck here and for you, which is perfect. It does for, include the cable. Yeah. So. So. Um, so yeah, this is. I mean, we paid for this just to give it away. <laughs> As we so, do. As so, we do. Thank as you, Patreon do. supporters and everyone else that mm -hmm. helps support us, help support yes, the local live absolutely. music. We, we greatly appreciate our patrons, which I'm, I'm about to send them a giant post about a lot of this stuff here tonight. But, uh, yeah, um, yeah, support from patrons, support from folks who purchase our merch, or we've gotten some donations over the years, just... You know, anything we get goes to stuff like this and helps boost just the music community in general. And that's how you end up with Bedtime the Band having a tape deck. <laughs> so, um, so that's so, uh, kind of the big reveal for this is we're, we're giving away a freaking tape deck. Um, we're about a good, a good one. A good one, yeah. It's not like we like spent a, a, a minute looking at at them, and mm -hmm. I have. Is over 20 year old Technics like home theater system that I know that it it's it stands the test of time. So yeah, shout out to Technics. Technics. Um, so we've got 25 more minutes. I think we've talked through most of what our week is looking like. Naturally, if you have any questions about what tapes we got, we can help you out there. Mm -hmm. Um, I know a lot of our punk tapes have sold out over the years, but we've still got a couple. We still got some metal stuff in there. Um, yeah. Um, a lot of indie stuff, some electronic stuff. Our last trip to Tulsa. Yeah. We picked up Person Engine Daily. Person Engine Daily. So yeah. we have, I think, two of those left. Three. Maybe three. I want to say we three. bought one. Um, a lot of our cassettes have gone on to uh, stock Factory Obscure's uh, gift gift shop since we just True. popped up there. So yeah. I don't think we have any of our Kyle Reed. Well, Kyle Reed, we're gonna have because I'm gonna pick those up tomorrow. Uh, we've got a new we've got a new restock of Kyle Reed, uh, Love and Trust in the Age of St. Sugar Bridges which is a really good album. Also a really sad album, which is why it's our melancholy picture back yeah. here. Obscure. But um, yeah, I think the only thing we're really out of is like, uh, I don't know if we're going to have any buzz cut tapes on us. And then there's a few that um, we're waiting on artists to restock, like Neon Cathedral is thinking about doing another run. Stepmom isn't sure if they have any left, and if not, they might make some more. Yeah, so you know, if you come out and you goes. say you want those, we'll let these bands know that yeah, we have the sure. demand for mm -hmm. them to want to. We're do also a supposed run. to get Chelsea Days. Like yeah. we we have coordinated that, and we just have to like uh, make that happen. But Chelsea Days has a new album out, and it's we should good. be. It's very good. It's uh, self-titled, and it's. <clears throat> something that we fully intend on carrying so our final 20 minutes of this are coming up so we're going to start listening to just a brief uh selection of what's in our factory obscura and like i said we have tons of stuff at dig it mm -hmm. yep. so i don't know how well this sounds but this is hey judy just saying 
Um, and we are listening to this on a Technix. <laughs> uh, still going. Uh, stereo receiver. <laughs> I love this thing. Um, but we have tons of new playlists out. If you go check out our, um, I'm turn it on just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I would do that. Um, you can find them on Spotify or on our website. I just updated the website. So maybe we'll go on the reader.com slash playlists. There's like over a dozen playlists up there. Yeah. So, um, one of the things I spend a lot of time doing is I listen to all the music that gets submitted to us. I try to do it as it's getting submitted to us. It's so good at that. Um, I add almost everything that's out on Spotify directly to a yearly playlist, which is a massive undertaking, but it helps me sort everything by year. And then once I've been listening to it, I can put it into themed playlists. We have a ton of themed playlists. Um, you can find most of them on our website, although we are going to be releasing one after cassette week for the holidays, kind of. <laughs> um, but we love making music accessible. And I would like to say shout out again, Circle Lotus Media, because if they didn't have their release roundup, just go look for CLM release roundup. They do it by month. And yeah. even with us getting sometimes as many as five submissions through our submission form on our website, they can get lost in the lost in the sass because we get a lot of a lot of emails. Sometimes the emails compound and hide within, and like so they nest under each other. It's it's it, sometimes it, it can be really frustrating. Sometimes it's confusing the way the we'll get works. like an R and B song at the top, and then in the middle there's like an indie song, and then like some punk. But uh, we do we do check out our emails, but Circle Lotus Media does a fantastic job of catching a lot of stuff I miss out on. Same. Um, and I do, I, I listen to their playlist as soon as it's updated at the end of the month through the previous month or the start, I guess, start of the month. It's normally on like the first or third, um, just like rents do release roundup is due. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, if it wasn't for Circle Media, I would probably miss out on at least five new releases every, every single month that I find just from looking, um, and like our standards are you can't just be from oklahoma you have to be in oklahoma you don't have to be from oklahoma but your music has to come out of oklahoma so we have a ton of artists that have moved away that we cannot add to our playlists because it doesn't fit our yeah our criteria which when i founded this back in 2018 which I realize we're coming up on our fifth anniversary soon, which is insane. And it's almost our fifth anniversary, too. That's a couple. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just feel the need to explain it sometimes. That like, you know, it's, I just feel like the by limiting yourself to that, you're encouraged to dive deeper into your backyard and find those treasures that nobody else is going to find. Like if, if there's some stuff that it's like, if I don't really dig and dig, then somebody might not ever even get written about. Like we've had a couple of artists like, um, uh, what was the guy, the machine guy from Stillwater? Um, Ghost and It wasn't Ghost. It was something of the machine um, a really awesome quadruple album he put out, and he's just like a guy in his bedroom doing his thing. And it's like if, if we were busy chasing the big fishes that are, you know, moving to Nashville and stuff, like we'd miss out on cool stuff like that. Like Nashville's got enough press, they don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and I feel like Nashville 
distills artists and eats their souls True. and spits them back out with no no hope. It's like a really good um, Andy Adams song that's just about that. Yeah. Although I don't know if he wrote it or if he covered it, because there's like half of the songs on his album from a few years ago are like songs by his friends. Um, um, anyway, that's a tangent. But, I mean, we we spend a large portion of time following, you know, what Circle Lotus Media is putting out on their every sure. other Sunday Almost live. Others. I mean, I like to keep a record um, of what Oklahoma Rock shows. Oklahoma Mary Rock and, Show, um, uh, the local talent show on the chat. That, yeah, because um, that touches a whole side of the scene that doesn't always get a lot of love. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of hard rock. And then... Um, What's the other? Oh, Oklahoma Music Archives finds yeah. a, like they spotlight some older stuff, and um, I've been doing the playlists for Make Oklahoma Weirder since 2019, mm-hmm. um, and and so you know, on if I see a release that happened in 2019 up till the present, I will you know, retroactively add it to that playlist for the year because it helps me find stuff when I'm searching to write um, or to curate playlists like a diamond in the rough playlist for dogs um, which has a Dr. Pants song on it too so and right now, I mean, we, we missed the Labrys who are talking over it. Labrys was up just before Papa Foster, and it's Bitch like, in the Bitch in the Band, it's one of my favorite it's songs. So it's an anthem. Yeah. It is an anthem. Papa Foster and the Grits right now with Lemonade recently had a music video come out. Yeah. Um, again, these are tapes you can get it back to the show. Um, did we get any inbox submission questions the last few hours through our story? It won't always notify you. Sometimes you gotta look at I'm it. I'm double checking. Or on the chats. I don't have access to the chats right now. Not as far as I can tell. I'm going to see Brianna comment. <laughs> My name is Steve. Posted about stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, if you go, not the notifications, but if you go to the stories. In the stories? I was in the stories. But if you swipe up on her, you're asking for questions. Sometimes I see it hidden away there. Is that where you're asking for questions? Uh, yes. Okay. I just want to make sure we aren't missing anything from anybody. But yeah, no replies. That's okay. okay. I mean, we only posted that a few hours ago, so not a big deal. I would like to say that um, it is Oklahoma City Public Schools fall break. That is and true. we had already planned because that week, and I did not think oh, about being okay. on mom time. Um, but it happens, it and Odysseus is. has been very helpful. Currently oh. playing is Cal Reed way out there. Yeah. One of the sadder songs on this album. It's it's very sad, but it's beautiful and it is sad. Beautiful. It is. I, I, I mean, like, getting, we're going crying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, if, if you're here and you got any questions, it doesn't have to be set week. It can be anything, music, or I guess, I but uh, yeah, we I think we got through everything and I'm just gonna chill. And... What's happening? Oh yeah, we got a, a, some cool shares on our stories. I don't know man, it is spooky season. But I feel like I might hear something some trouble of brewing. 
for our, our final 10 minutes of this video blog question and answer my big question is oh my god where is this giant monster creature coming from in the house you can't see it but are you terrified because i'm terrified <laughs> oh my god i mean it's pretty frightening I it, it's Bye. it's very frightening oh my god <laughs> Oh, you gotta bend down a little. It's a lobster chicken! Can you put your chicken head a little bit closer to the Instagram camera? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Monster Chicken Lobster Man. Your service to make Oklahoma Weirder has been greatly appreciated. <laughs> I'm feeling a little peckish. <laughs> what what did the lobster man chicken person say to the not the mom of the monster chicken person. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I don't know if you knew from those movie magics that that was Odysseus. Okay, grab the lobster claws. That's enough, my love. He wants to be a YouTube star. So, he wants to be YouTube thing. He wants to make YouTube money. No, I, I do too. Yeah, he just wants to be a visible, respected person in the YouTube game, regardless of compensation and fame. <sighs> uh, this is, my name is Stave, up on the TV. What the kissing was for, which has like a weird little synth thing on it. It's a it's a super fun little tape. And my name is Stave has extra special tracks on the cassette this is true. This that is are true. not available streaming yeah. or through download. Yeah. So it's kind of weird because if you listen to it on Spotify. There's only the one track that's, hello, good evening, sir, my name is Stave. My name is Stave. Uh, that particular track is the only, like, Stave track with the Stave sample. If you listen to it on Bandcamp, there's three. But then if you get it on tape, there's a fourth track that's not a Stave track. It's just, like, another instrumental track. It's a hidden track. That's not even on the, uh, well, I don't know if it's even on the J card. I could be wrong. It might be. But, yeah. yeah, it's literally the only way you can hear it, even with a... Unless he has a hidden download or something. Sometimes you can tuck away a hidden download, but I think you have to have the tape. Which is pretty great, because as far as I know, this dude's only put out, like, five of these things. Yeah, and we don't know who my name is Stave is, Yeah, but I don't think his name is Stave. Well, he friended me on facebook steve steven robert robinson i think okay so it's or not robert, my friend might be robert it's not my friend steve who i constantly go steve no so i was like is it steve because i always call steve steve yeah. but yeah i won't have this for sale at the factory to secure out. There's, as far as I know, there's no other copies even in existence outside of just buying them off the band camp. Like, um, I, I'm sure we can get some more, but as of right now, it's, it's a factory to secure out exclusive. Who knows? I mean, when you get the thin crust, it goes a lot faster. 
Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you again, Eagle One Pizza. You would like to sponsor us in the future and give us free pizza. Yeah, we would love some free pizza, man. <laughs> if you have a pizza place uh -huh. and you want people to eat pizza for an hour on YouTube and talk about local happenings, we are those folks. Yep. Just send us pizza. We'll plug you. Yeah, we will. Um, we will plug you so bad. I think this one because they have online ordering and it's it's local online ordering that doesn't charge like a freaking fee for it. So that alone is pretty great. Like it's they have like five locations yeah, now, I piece. think. But uh, the one we went to, this one's on Classen, kind of over by the Asian District. I want to say it's next to that uh, hair studio, but well, one yeah, of the you can order it online, and you don't have to pay for fees. You can go pick it up, pay for it with a card, and it, it yeah. works. It's not one of those things where you show up and they don't have your order or whatever. I've tried a lot of different online ordering systems, and yeah, this one's better. This ones. one's legit. Um, right now, we're listening to Buzz Cut, and we're yeah. almost out of these cassettes. They're mostly at Factory Obscura. Yeah, but um, we, we can, we're going to get another batch, I okay. think. But, but it yeah, is a collaborative yes. effort. Evan, would you like to explain it as we are almost done? As I take a bite of pizza, mm -hmm. yeah. Music. So, oh, we also have Talos cassettes, which is going to come oh, into play. Oh, yeah. So, um, Buzzcut is spearheaded by one Josh Hogsett, who I, I always get it confused because I have a childhood friend named Josh Hodgson. <laughs> Not really a childhood friend, just an acquaintance. But um, he he was uh, the foreman for Talos, which was a really big deal here in the local scene, Oklahoma City, Indie Rock, circa mid-2010s. And uh, this is kind of like a solo electronic project that was done through file sharing collaborations with a whole bunch of folks. A lot of them local, like uh, Hypervigilance, Lennon Bramlett, Matty Rizzo. Okay. Lennon Bramlett. Yeah. Um, there's even a Sam Reagan collaboration mm -hmm. in here, which is rad because Sam was doing some really cool stuff here yeah. before I moved away. And, Come back, Sam. Right. But it's a really cool kick, really chill. Um, I wish it got more publicity than it did. I mean, we do what we can with it, but I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't sell better than it does. I mean, it sells well. It's just, I just think it's so good that, you know, and there's not enough electronic, local electronic original tapes yeah. that this is like one of the handful that we have. Well, but and we have. Um, we do have a hypervigilance tape. We have hypervigilance. Um, Dr. Pants has an electronic tape. Yeah, objectionable object. Ob objectionable object. Yeah. Um, got. Uh, cannot forget that we have one of the best pop punk albums on cassette two, um, on holiday. Okay, they're not electronic, but okay. I know. I'm just thinking sure. about. Well, I do want to mention Talos then, because yeah. Talos, like that project, has kind of set sail. But we've got a couple of Talos tapes. It's not for sale at Factory of Spirit. It's not for sale at Ticket. Like, we've got a couple of Talos tapes. Waste Deep, which was their last project. So good. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely uh, one to get if you know what's up. Oh, other favorite tapes. We got Debbie Henning. Debbie Henning, of course. This is a, it's our only vintage tape. And Debbie Henning is amazing. She's a... Uh, Blues Hall of Fame inductee, so you know she's phenomenal, and this is a vintage album she put out in the early 90s. Um, we have, like I said, on holiday, so we got some pop punk, mentioned Preston yeah. and Daily. Acid Queen sells really oh, well. Oh yeah, Acid Queen, and it's a beautiful purple cassette. A lot of our cassettes are different colors. We have a we couple. Have some greens, we have some purples. We have a couple of Ramona and the Phantom cassettes at Dig It. I know we have more Ramona and the Phantoms at Dig It than we have in our case because I restocked them um, like a week or so ago. Um, 
And so we have all of our events are up on Facebook. If you just follow Makeup Mama Weirder, um, you'll find you'll find our music on or here you, you keep you sign out while I'll sign out while we get this music from going into whatever the heck is about to happen here. Um, yeah, thanks for joining us for the pizza party. If you're watching this as it was recorded and maybe skimming through, um, we talked about cassette week in general, kind of what it is, what we've been doing and how it's really affected what the makeup on weirder has been doing and cassettes and live music and stuff. Um, talked about all of our events for the week, which we have five events starting tomorrow. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a different opportunity to come see us. You can win a grand prize by entering our drawing, which is a, a dual, dual cassette deck. Dual cassette deck. Um, we've got brand new shirts. They are the cassette tape design with the cursive tape. The same makeup on a little weirder, but it's glow in the dark on black. So those are brand new. And as of right now, you can only get them through our pop up shops. They'll eventually make their way into retail, but as of right now, you can only get them with us. Similarly, uh, we have chat file tapes, which you can only get with us right now. Um, we've only got 29 of them, and we think we're going to sell out of them because this is a big, big tape, and there's there's a lot of buzz about this after this album. We also have an eight track from Broken Vacuum up in Tulsa, which is pretty rad. Um, and then our, our usual stuff, we've got our uh, stickers, plenty of stickers, and uh, hats and shirts and other tapes, which we've done over here. Um, and yeah, well, we talked a little bit about some of the tapes that are here, um, talked about the pizza, and then we were invaded by a lobster chicken. Yeah. So, I think that about does it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Pony Boy now. Yep. And uh, Go have fun at Pony Boy. Yeah, they're showing, they're showing uh, spookies. Yeah. Spooky shows, Mondo Monday. Um, Unrelated to Cassette Week, but... Yeah, we're still okay. trying to... They're, trying to... they're also making Oklahoma weirder, so mm -hmm. we're down with them. Yep, but uh, if you have any questions that we didn't answer here, you mm -hmm. can feel free to message us on Facebook on Instagram, DM us on Twitter, you can send us an email, make Oklahoma Weirder. Email's fast, we prefer email. Yeah, make Oklahoma Weirder at gmail.com or weirder okay at gmail.com. So we hope to see you soon and have a good cassette week. Uh. <laughs>